Hey YouTube, today we'll be installing the 13 billion parameter Vicuna model using GPTQ 4-bit quantization. Thanks to the Oogabooga Text Generation Web UI one-click installer. To follow this tutorial, you will need the following dependencies installed. CUDA 11.7, the CUDA Deep Neural Network Toolkit, otherwise called CUDNN, and Python 3.9. The installer will handle the rest for you. So this tutorial will be more time consuming than it is difficult, except for the parameters we'll need for the Vicuna model to run correctly and a couple of tricks to run on Windows. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is navigate to the Oogabooga Text Generation Web UI GitHub located here and also in the description below. We're gonna scroll down and grab the zip installer. We're gonna download it. And once it's finished downloading, we will get an archive. Now. No, a note here is there is currently a bug where if you don't rename the folders to something smaller like two characters, in my case I like to use OB for Oogabooga, the installer will fail. But once we finish that, we can click into this folder and just click on the install. And it will bring up a command prompt with two options. We're going to want to pick option A and let it run. Now this will take a significant amount of time to run, so feel free to take a break, which is what I'm going to do, and I'll see y'all in a moment. Once we finish the installer, we can go ahead and start the web UI. Now, before we modify the map file, we will need to start this with its default settings. And we can do that by double clicking on the bat file, which will bring up a command prompt that looks like this. And once we see the running on local URL, we can go ahead and navigate to this URL. Once we do that, we're gonna see a screen like this and we'll navigate to the model screen. This is where we're going to download the 4-bit quantized model. Now there are several of these available and this is the one that I've been using and that's located here and also in the description below. We're just going to copy the username on Hugging Face and the model's name. And we can do that by clicking on this icon here and we're going to drop that here and we're just going to click on download now mind you here do not put the full url only the username slash the model that you're looking to download click on download and the uh, ui will start taking care of the rest and in the command prompt you can see its current progress as you can see this will take a little bit of time so we'll cut we'll circle back once we're done once the download has finished we can now close the command line prompt that was running our web server and modify the bat file. You can do that by opening it with your favorite text editor and going to line 16 where it says call python server.py and you're going to append these three parameters wbits4, model type llama, and group size 128. They're also in the description. Now once we've done that, we can go ahead and restart our web UI and we should see it start to load the model and it does and it's already finished if you remember last time that's significantly faster too and let's talk about the big deal behind this 4-bit quantization if you remember in the last video the 7 billion parameter model in 8 bits was consuming almost all of the ram on my 4080. this is the 13 billion parameter model running on that same 4080. So this 4-bit quantization really expands the amount of hardware that these can run on. And now let's go look at the performance of this from the UI. I've already asked it a couple of questions to make sure it was working, but let's ask it to create us a simple Java program to add two integers that the user gives to us. Integers provided by the user. And here's the thing, it's actually pretty darn fast. And this UI is actually pretty nice and clean too. Once it's done printing, we'll have a nice visualization of the code. And that's really it. I hope y'all have enjoyed this and found it as helpful as I enjoyed making it. And if you would like to learn more about AI and natural language processing, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. And of course, it didn't it didn't format it like I said it would, but it usually does. You'll have a good one, guys.